We are Jared and Ashley, and just a couple weeks ago, we traveled all the way to Portland, Maine to pick up our 2017 Mercedes Sprinter van that we plan to convert into a full off-grid camper van. This baby is ours! This week, we attempted to tackle the window installation as well as the roof rails. You'd think having an engineer around would make the van build a breeze, right? Or not. This is why we'd never win the Amazing Race. I messed up, and I was wrong. You know what today is? First day of the van build. Woohoo! <laughs> it's about 10 degrees outside, too. Gosh. No van build is complete without a trip to Home Depot. <laughs> 4,3700. The first of many. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We got three things for a gazillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's we have to add this to our list. So. Oh, I have the keys. Okay, Keep expenses. Me. Yes, put it on the sheet. Put it on the sheet. So, where are we going next? Breakfast. Breakfast. I am. For Ace Hardware? Uh, I'll, we can do Ace Hardware later. Okay. Yeah, Alright. Gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of. It's loud. It's so 
It's this exhausting thing in these crazy contorted positions. You want me to do it? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's really difficult. I wouldn't want you to. You wouldn't want me to mess it up. No, I, I mean, you're welcome to just cut the door in half. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know how on airplanes when people give out goodie bags because they have babies, they're really loud? I feel like we should be handing out goodie bags to our neighbors. Is it that loud? It's so loud. <laughs> cutting out both holes um, we what did you call it grinded down the metal shavings on both yep. and painted. painted both yep and now we are well Jared is adding the weather stripping song just came on to the, the outside so it looks really good this one's with and this one we haven't done it yet As you can see this one's just like raw metal Really good. These contours, they look good. So we have some black trim pieces that go here. Um, and it turns out it's a little bit too cold, but the urethane that we have to put that basically glues the window to the car, um, in order for it to actually cure and bond correctly, it has to be at least 50 degrees outside. And it's like 42 degrees, so. 50 degrees, what temperature is yeah. Uh, it was, I think it's like 42 degrees. So we've never seen this done before, but we're going to have to take the doors off the van and take them inside to where it's a little bit warmer to place the windows in and then let them sit for 24 hours. So I think we're just going to tape off the van, cover it with plastic. So I guess nobody can tell that there's a huge... Yeah, so... Tomorrow night after you've given them 24 hours to cure, this will just be six bolts and plug them back in. Yeah. So, next up, we're taking the doors off. <laughs> Fingers crossed this works. <laughs> Pesto, tomato, mozzarella, basil with some balsamic glaze. It's so good. It's messy, but it's so good. Bon appetit, babe.
that trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no Nothing can break me Ooh. So, I'm gonna set the window in place here I'm gonna draw where it doesn't touch the white so I know where not to put glue. I don't want to get glue out in here. Right. Your thing. So. Sky is beautiful and so are you. I want to make it up to you, start something new. So Jared is adding the primer to the white. We like scuffed it up a little bit with a Brillo pad. A Brillo pad. And now he's going through with primer. Do you want me to finish it? No, you're good. Okay. Try not to stop the bead if you can. We are doing the same thing here on the back side of the window that we just did on the door. I'm trying to hold that same half inch or so from the outside edge that I did on the other one just because the front, I know where I'm going to put the bead line. Makes sense to try to keep it. Are you ready for a van? Are you excited to have windows? Do you want to have windows in the van? So Jared's putting on the urethane, which is a like a, a bonding agent that's gonna make sure that the window is like secure to the door, um, and it helps prevent like any leaks or anything. So we're putting it on kind of thick, um, and we kind of have to go a little bit quick because. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about going quick, huh? I hear you. <laughs> because it you would dry. Need to go faster than Jared. You, you kind of need to speed it up. <laughs> Grab one, one, grab one. Okay. Try to get perfect. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. All right, the window is on, but it it kind of needs. It's a little warped. I mean, I don't think the window's warped. I just think it re like requires a lot of pressure. So we have the barbecue sauce that I have to take to my clients. <laughs> but um, we have some oil and some barbecue sauce on there holding it down. So it has to be on here for about four hours and then we can take it off. See what it looks like. But yeah, I don't know if that's normal, the warping. But Bean, are you excited for the van? Are you ready for us to be done? Are you ready to go hang out in the van? Yeah. Yeah. Are you our helper? Yeah. You're such a good helper. I think we realized why it's warping. I think we put the weather strip on the wrong way. Yeah. And had the thicker side to the outside. Right, which is so. creating more outward pressure for that window. Let's go get the window. Did you not read the instructions of the weather stripping? No, I was just watching the YouTube guy. So those details in the process are infinite. So. I love you, but this is why we'd never win The Amazing Race. Oh, we'd win. <laughs> we'd win. <laughs> oh! Okay. Mm. You okay? I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel the fun. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel the light when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive them back. We fixed it! Jared got under there and 
turned around the weather strip. And now we're moving on to window number two with the prime. So while the doors are upstairs curing with the windows tonight, this is our current situation. <laughs> no door. <laughs> I think we're going to get some of that plastic wrap that we had protecting the, um, the metal flakes from going into the van. We're just going to tape that with painter's tape like all the way around the top and then drape it under and like tape it underneath and then pull the van back towards the garage. Um, and hopefully it'll be fine until the morning. So. Keep coming. Oh my gosh, he wants to go back further. Like, dude, you're like 12 inches. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh my gosh. I mean, at least it's still on there. It's on there. You want to go get in? Yeah. Oh, she's getting a little bit of... Oh, oh. we should have brought a towel. I think we did all right, babe. We did okay. 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 I will say, if anybody uses weather stripping, there are two sides. One thick side and one thin side. Always, always put the thin side on the in or on the outside. Yeah, see, there you go. Thin side inside, mess you up every time. Don't don't say thin side inside. <laughs> That's not true. No. What you got there? Towels. <laughs> Working on a side project while we wait for these doors to cure. What are we doing? It's Trex today. Trex. Roof rail systems. So, do the roof rails. There's these little plastic pins. And they're sealed from, they're sealed from above. And in order to get all of them out and put bolts through there to hold the rail that runs down the side of the van so you can attach all our implements to it. There's actually pins that are behind this styrofoam on both sides. So, I got to get the pin out that's up under. This pin is up under here, right? So. Okay, so this yes. extends and there's one under here. Correct, there's an extra pin. But in order to get this out, it's all interweaved between this headliner. So I got to get the headliner out, drop the headliner out, get the big chunk of styrofoam out and then I've already I got these side panels off pull the B pillars off I gotta get the A pillars side curtain airbags I've got the two visors the single visor here is off and then I got this center console and the whole thing to fall down after a little clips come off so. so let's get this off let's go
have like glue buildup on the edge where he took that plug off. So I'm improvising. Don't mind my stained mechanical hands. Um, I'm scraping it off with just the top to the fingernail polish remover um, just to get all the glue off of it so it sticks more flush. I don't know, Jared's a perfectionist so he's making me scrub it off. What'd you say? Otherwise, I would just put it on there <laughs> with the glue still on it. week to watch us unbox our new Max Air fan. Ooh. The Max Air fans here. Oh yeah. And start the initial stages of our subfloor. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week.